one of my favorite performances. Everyone knew that I was excited for this performance. This was so bad. Like Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Frasix and happy Super Bowl weekend. That is right, Super Bowl Sunday is just a few days away from the day that I upload this video and I'm super excited. I feel like in America, Super Bowl Sunday is a very big and very grand event. It's essentially a holiday. Like I feel like a lot of people get the day off after Super Bowl Sunday just because, you know, they partied too much during Sunday night. So it's just a really fun experience and I feel like personally for me, Super Bowl has had a big impact in my life because I've been watching it for essentially the past 10 years of my life and I look forward to every single one of them. If you guys didn't know, I used to play football so that kind of is what got me into actually like watching the real Super Bowl. Of course, I don't have like any, I'm not fans of like any particular team or I don't keep up with football, but I do love the game just overall. Like I kind of know what it's about, but I realized that a good amount of people don't watch the Super Bowl for the football part of it. They watch it for the halftime shows and the halftime shows are superb. They are, you know, a good reason to watch the Super Bowl, especially since I feel like it's Every year it gets bigger and bigger for the halftime shows. It's essentially a big concert, you know, that brings everyone together. It really showcases the power of music and how music can bring people together. And that's kind of why I love the halftime shows because it's just this big grand event that everyone watches and looks forward to. That is why for this video, I'm going to be rating and ranking the past 10 Super Bowl performances and essentially just giving my opinions on them since, like I said, I've watched essentially every single one except for the first one, but I'll be talking about that when I get to it. Before we begin, give this video a like, maybe consider subscribing, and follow me on my social media accounts just to keep up with everything that I do. And without further ado, here is my rating and rankings of the past 10 Super Bowl halftime shows. Okay, are you guys ready? I have my presentation right here. So the first one that I'm going to be talking about is 2011's Super Bowl halftime show performance and that is the Black Eyed Peas. And this is, like I said, the only one that I didn't watch technically and I still didn't watch it up until I had to, you know, make this video. So I watched it like yesterday and people were like saying that it was one of the worst ones that have ever been done and I was like, it probably can't be that bad. But when I watched it, it, it wasn't bad but there were just more bad things than good I guess like it honestly felt like super uneventful like of course like the first minute or so like it was like super hype and everything you know like they came down from like the ceiling and it was just super fun and everyone was just going around them but then like after that they literally just stayed in like that position in that formation and they didn't really do much they just stood there and like Saying, which I guess you know would be okay for a normal concert or whatever but this is the Super Bowl people will need to be like entertained that's what I feel like my stance should be on a halftime show before. they want to be engaged with the performance they don't want it to be like something that you can you know do a pastime by they want it to be something that really holds your attention throughout the entire performance and I feel like this one definitely did not like I felt like the most eventful part and I didn't even know that Usher was part of this performance, honestly, but when I saw him, I was just like, wow. And like, I think his part was the best part just because it had, you know, like the dancers and it was just really, it felt like it was more engaging than um, their performance was. And in all honesty, I'm kind of glad that this wasn't my first Super Bowl, like performance that I watched because I feel like I would have been like really let down. And that is why I'm giving this performance a 1.4 out of 10. And I feel like this is, it would have been lower if not for Usher. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so we go on to the next year, which is the first Super Bowl performance that I ever watched, which was 2012's Madonna Super Bowl halftime show performance. And like, I feel like the main reason that I watched this was because my math teacher was like a fan of one of the teams that was playing this year and he really wanted um, us to watch it and we would get extra credit or something if we like reported it on the game but like this you know the halftime show is like part of the game essentially so I had to watch through that and I was really blown away by like the production and like the set and everything and the songs like even though like 
I'm not a fan of Madonna and I like don't really know any of her songs really especially the ones that were performed here it was like it was interesting just you know see how she used the stage and like all the guest performances by you know like I think it was like Mia and then there was Nikki like that like I was a fan of Nikki at the time too you know especially when you know in Stupid Ho when she was rapping about uh, 2012 that she's performing at the Super Bowl like that was just super exciting and that's another main reason why I watched the Super Bowl was just for Nikki but anyways, like I really did love this, like the Egyptian theme, you know, like her entrance, that was really grand. And in all honesty, I feel like maybe there could have been a little bit more to this, but overall, I was pretty impressed for my first Super Bowl halftime show performance that I ever watched. So for this performance, I'm gonna be giving it a 7.8 out of 10. And that's actually really good. And then we go on to 2013, which was Beyonce. And what can I say? Like Beyonce served, she served so good. And I honestly love this so much. Like again, the visuals and everything were amazing, uh, but mostly just her dancing and the dancers and everything. It just was really grand and epic. And I absolutely loved it so much. The visuals for like when she was like performing, um, I forgot what song she was performing. But like I just love her use of visuals and dancing and everything and really engaging with the audience and I absolutely love that so much. And then you know there was that mini reunion with Destiny's Child even though like I wasn't a fan of Destiny's Child or during that time or anything like that I still felt the hype from the crowd and everything like that. Like it was just super awesome and I absolutely love this performance. It's one of my favorite performances I feel like out of the entire Super Bowl like for the past 10 Super Bowls. So this is really well done and I feel like I'm going to be giving this an 8.9 out of 10. I know some people may rank it higher or lower, but again, this is just my opinion and I think it's really well deserved. Okay, 2014 was Bruno Mars and I did not know what to expect from this. I don't know, I feel like personally for me, the male performances from the Super Bowl halftime show performances aren't as engaging as the females and I feel like that's just because the females are like I guess I don't want to say better but they're just like more inclined to like be like entertaining because you know they're usually doing that stuff anyway you know they're dancing and like singing and performing and everything and the guys usually just stay in there which kind of you know sucks like if I was a performer or anything or if I was performing at the Super Bowl I would not just be like singing on a stage with a band with a crowd I would be doing everything so I feel like that's something that I would definitely want to do but anyways let's go back to Bruno like I was really surprised about this performance because like even though like in a way it kind of was that like he was kind of standing on stage and stuff and he wasn't really dancing but the energy that he portrayed especially during the beginning with the drums and everything like that like you could just feel that he was having so much fun and the energy was just there and I absolutely loved that so much like it was engaging throughout the entire thing like of course we know he's a great singer and everything but just this entire performance really kept me engaged like of course I think the only like major downfall and not downfall like it's a bad thing but just like the thing that wasn't as engaged in was the guest performance which I think was what was it the the, the red hot chili peppers and I, I apparently I met them a long time ago according to my parents but I didn't even know that but anyway so yeah that like I wasn't really a fan of their music but I felt like with the hype that Bruno Bruno was um giving them and everything like that I felt like I could still watch it because it was still entertaining and then at the end you know when he sang just the way you are like his vocals, everything was just, mwah, that was amazing. So I feel like I'm gonna be giving this performance an 8.8 .8 out of 10, which is, again, really well deserved because I absolutely, absolutely love this show. Okay, and then next is 2015, which is from Katy Perry. What can I say about this performance? I was so hyped for this performance. Like, this was the most hyped that I was ever for a Super Bowl halftime show performance at that time. I, you know, wore my Katy Perry shirt and everything. I had like the football things that they put under the eyes and I was like really hyped and really ready for it. Like everyone knew that I was excited for this performance and I felt, and I knew that this was gonna be something special leading up to the performance. Cause even though I did keep up with all the Super Bowl performances before this one, 
this was the first one that I was really like engaged in like I was following everything I was you know going on Google every day and like seeing there was something new something a hint or something that you know I could get for what she was gonna be doing during this performance and I don't know like regardless I felt like this was gonna be something special and it definitely was I think at the time that I'm recording this this is still the most watched Super Bowl performance ever so I'm just really happy for Katie that she has that and it's I think it's really well deserved because this was not just a performance this was just not a concert this was someone compared it to like the opening of the Olympics you know where it's very grand very big where you can definitely tell that she wanted to use all or as much of the um the field as she could and I did watch the documentary on um, the halftime show performance which I don't remember I think it's on YouTube actually and if it is I might link it down below but it's just really interesting just because I love behind the scenes kind of stuff so it's just really interesting just to see like the very very beginnings of this halftime show performance and you know like the planning and production and like making the costumes and like the you know little um, hiccups and everything and the incidences that happened before this during this and just how everything was prepared I absolutely love this performance so much like it's so colorful and I really don't have anything bad to say about it like literally she served the vocals again the visuals were amazing like each like she Katie really knows how to put on a visual treat in her performances you know whether that's for her own concert like a new show or something or for the Super Bowl she really knows how to deliver a visual treat to the audience so it was only fitting that Katie would do something like this for the Super Bowl you know something as iconic as the halftime show performance so I feel like this is really well deserved and Missy killed her part as well so I really don't have any like bad things about it um, so in all honesty I feel like I'm gonna be giving this a 10 out of 10 because personally for me this is the best I absolutely, absolutely love this performance so much and then now you may be thinking, oh, you know, so we can only get better from here, right? Well, not exactly, <laughs> because the next year, 2016, was Coldplay, and yeah, that was, it was, I don't know, I just didn't vibe with it at all. Like, the only good part about this, I think, and I feel like for a lot of people that thought the same thing was Beyonce and Bruno's guest appearances, but I feel like... For me, like even when I was watching it and then after I was watching it, I was saying, you know, if you need a guest performance from the other famous people that you know will bring in more people because the main people that you're headlining the halftime show with aren't as popular, why even, you know, ask the people that are headlining the halftime show to do it if you know that they're not going to bring in the big bucks and you have to like you know do guest performances and everything like that so that's kind of where I was at because I love Coldplay I love their songs they're pretty chill they're very vibey which is a good thing but I felt like for a Super Bowl performance again like it's supposed to be engaging and I felt like even though it was visually like pretty good I like overall it, it was just not what anyone expected it to be because I felt like it was just mostly just again it was like kind of like the black eyed peas scenario where they were just on the stage and you know there, he was just singing and the crowd was you know around him and everything like that but i felt like the real special part of the halftime show performance was when bruno and beyonce were doing their choreos and everything like that it was so f like not fake but like it tried so hard to make you feel good and to make you feel great you know like we're all in this together kind of thing it's just like no like no you, you gotta like stop and not do that at all like that was just embarrassing I felt like they were everyone was just giving more than was needed like I felt like they knew it wasn't gonna be that great but for this performance I'll give it a 3.2 out of 10 and that's very generous it would definitely 100% be lower if not for Beyonce and Bruno, just saying. But fortunately for all of us, the next year, 2017, we were saved because Lady Gaga performed one of the best Super Bowl halftime show performances ever. Like, I don't know what 
to say about this. Like the beginning was like super like aw that was so cute with like the drones and everything in the background even though I think that was like pre-recorded before the actual Super Bowl. But still like you know like she did her thing and then she like the visuals were amazing. Like even though like she was in a age setting like she didn't just stand. She was like moving, she was like dancing. Like all her dancers, everything was just Amazing, like absolutely love this so much. I remember um, I was working in this like CQ, which is basically this office area at um, my tech school in Monterey, California. And this was the first Super Bowl performance that I watched when I was in the military. So I guess this one's really special to me because even though I did have work that night, uh, I was watching this on, I think it was either my laptop or my phone or something and I was just like really vibing with it so much and I was super happy that I could watch this and in all honesty this holds a really special place in my heart and I absolutely love it so much and that is why I am giving this a 9.3 out of 10. It's honestly so amazing and I absolutely love it so much and every time I watch this performance I just get super hyped and super happy and come on the songs are iconic and then the next year which is 2018 just like I don't know I feel like there's just this constant up and down up and down like you can't have two good years I, I, I don't know okay this performance would not have been bad probably if it was done 10 to 20 years before this because Justin you know did his you know usual dance routines and like the music was I don't know the dance routines I felt like they were good for him and they were good for the time that he was getting popular which is like the early 2000s but this is not the early 2000s hun it is 20 at the time it was 2018 and I felt like he really could have done so much better and I don't know I just felt like overall it was just boring and like I get it that people in the early 2000s you could like literally just do a breakdown dance or whatever and people will be screaming and stuff and people were screaming here as well but I felt like it, it just wasn't the same and I'll honestly like it was just super boring for me when I did have to rewatch it it was just again super boring um super awkward like the awkward dancing and just that awkward selfie with that boy like it was just um, um a mess honestly the only okay part of this was the tribute to Prince and even then like I, I'm not a fan of Prince I, I honestly don't care for Prince or Justin so I felt like it was just I wasn't feeling it at all. But overall with this outdated performance and everything I give this a 1.2 out of 10 which is pretty bad not gonna lie. Um, it could have again been way better or just someone else and no offense to Justin or anything but it's just like it, this wasn't it at all and you would think that oh they would learn from this year and they would do better next year right well not exactly because I felt like out of all the Super Bowl performances this was the most chaotic this was so bad like Maroon 5 has good songs like I'm pretty sure we all can agree with that like for some reason or another they you know everyone likes them and they're always played on the radio and they get super high in the charts but for this performance for this super performance it I don't know what happened it was just an honest mess like again they were just standing on I feel like it's always with the bands like they're just standing on the stage and they're just singing and there's no vibe like literally maybe the most the most that they move is from like one point of the stage to the other um, side of the stage and I'm just like what the heck then you know he's just slowly taking off parts of his top and everything until he's shirtless and I was like what like what the heck and then like there was the part awkward part with like Travis Scott and Spongebob and that was literally like the best part of the performance that really showcases how bad this show was if Spongebob was the best part of a halftime show performance you can definitely tell you can you definitely know that this wasn't as I felt like people were so let down and I feel like this was during a time also where like things were And then that leads us into the most recent performance up until um, the weekend's performance, which is in a few days. But for 2020's performance, we got Jennifer Lopez and Shakira. And you know that thing I said before about um, if they had to include guest performances, you know it's going to be a bad headliner. Well, for this, they were both headlining and it was awesome. 
let's just say that. Like this was the first performance that I recorded and put on YouTube and I think at the time that I'm recording this it's like the most watched video that I have so far. I think it's like 78,000 um, people have watched it and it's absolutely crazy. I did not expect it to do that well to be honest. But I, I, I feel like it's really well deserved because I really love this performance so much. I loved it a lot more than I thought I would because of course like Jennifer Lopez has a great song, Shakira has a great song. So of course it would make sense for them to you know be together and it would just really showcase like not only girl power just but just like power and just bring something back that we've been missing for so long from the halftime show performances and they really delivered you know like the vocals were amazing the dancing was amazing the visuals were amazing as well like it was just really an entertaining experience and I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't watched my reaction to this Super Bowl halftime show performance I'll leave that in the description below and again this was the first one that I uploaded and I feel like I was gonna upload because I think I did react to this but it was just so bad I I didn't upload it at all and I don't know where the clips are for it but I'm glad that I didn't upload this and I'm glad that I did upload this though because I absolutely love this performance so much uh, there's I can't there's not much to say about this I absolutely love it and I adore them so much and for this performance I give it a 9.4 out of 10 which again I think is really well deserved so good job to Shakira and Jennifer Lopez and like I felt like for days after this performance I was just listening to both of their songs and I absolutely loved it so much so you know it was really well deserved that they got the 9.4 out of 10. Okay, and that leads us into the final ranking where basically from the rankings that I gave each and every one of these performances, I'll be doing it from number 10 to my number one. So my number 10 is Justin Timberlake again with 1.2. Um, yeah, that's, yeah. So next is the Black Eyed Peas at number nine with 1.3. Number 8 is Maroon 5 with 1.5. Number 7 is Coldplay with 2.7. Number 6 is Madonna with 7.8. And I feel like there's like a big you know, jump, you know, from 2.7 to 7.8. Like that was a really big thing. So anyways, number 5 is Bruno Mars with 8.8. .8. Number 4 is Beyonce with 8.9. Number 3 is Lady Gaga with 9.3. Number two is Jennifer Lopez and Shakira with 9.4. And number one is Katy Perry with 10 out of 10. And that is pretty much it. And that is pretty much it for my rankings for each and every single Super Bowl halftime performance show from the past 10 years. So what do you guys think of my rankings? Do you guys agree with my rankings? Do you guys disagree with the points that I gave it? Like, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below what you think is the best and the worst and everything in between. Like, what do you guys think? And also, how do you guys think the weekend is gonna be doing in a few days? Cause I'm really excited. Cause I know the weekend has bops, but I am just really hoping that he's just not gonna stand still. Or, you know, if he is, at least be visually appealing or something. Like, I'm just really hoping that we're gonna get something amazing. And I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be great regardless. So I'm kind of hoping that he has, you know, special guests or something, cause that would be really cool, like surprise guests that haven't been announced yet. As in, you know, maybe uh, Ariana Grande uh, with Love Me Harder, <coughs> cough, cough. I don't know, I just really just want something, but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna be great regardless. So just leave a comment down below on how you think the weekend is gonna be doing. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy, you know, going through each and every single one of these performances and even if they were bad like I did enjoy watching them and having all that hype build up and everything and I'm just super hyped for the Super Bowl on Sunday from the day that I upload this video so I'm just really like in that mood you know if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe all the usual things follow me on my social media accounts just keep up with all the Super Bowl hype because it is going down. It's a few days away and I'm so excited. And leave a like if you're excited for the Super Bowl on Sunday as well. And don't forget to stay subscribed to my channel for when I do post my reaction to the weekend's halftime show performance. And until the next video, the wonder won't stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Boo.